Hey. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, welcome. Uh, think things are going pretty good for me uh, right now. Um, I got a new place. Lots to catch up on. We need we need to talk. Uh, but Willie and Steve are gonna be here any second, so um, we'll have to do it after that. <sighs> you guys never come on happy visits. <laughs> You might notice that Optimus has its hood up. Um, it's not quite prime right yeah, now. Yeah, Optimus is less than prime. We're trying to be optimistic about <laughs> yeah. fixing it. But <laughs> everything before Bud is BS, as you guys know. So, um, But uh, it's not doing anything. It'll crank, but no start. Yeah. It'll run on um, spraying starting fluid in it, but it won't put fuel in itself. Yeah, so it's looking like it's got a a dead computer. Which is exactly what Pearl had when we first got Pearl. But this one actually I think we killed. Yeah, um, possibly. So it's not it's not super common for it to happen, but it does happen. And when you're welding on a truck, if you don't disconnect the batteries, you can burn up modules, computers, stuff like that. And the fact that it drove here, everything was perfect. Yeah, we parked it here. Right. Yeah. Then it got welded on and it hasn't started since. Yeah. It's kind of what it's looking like. We didn't know that. Um, we cracked a hinge on the bed welding it back on and beefing it up um and i didn't know the guys who were out here working on it didn't know we didn't know that yeah you can fry some stuff so then after we got the bed fixed it won't start call these guys tell them what happened they were like you probably fried your computer we're like what yeah, yeah no, no way. way that's not cool so uh yeah i think so we... i'm just checking basic stuff this is the power in the ground that feeds the ccm it's a cm 875 Five. yep it's a pretty robust ecm it should have a tag on it up here and it doesn't so i'm thinking it's probably had one before Been fried before or somebody robbed a good one like in a pool of dump yeah. trucks robbed a good one and put a reman on you it you know we actually bought this from a pool of dump trucks <laughs> The guys had uh, well. <laughs> actually like 20 dump trucks and three of them looked exactly like this one. Okay. Yeah, so. So yeah, it doesn't have the original ECM and um, it could be. Can you shut up for a second? Yeah, we're working. <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't look like an original ECM. It's painted over the tag down here and it doesn't have, this should be a tag up here where this glue mark is. Yeah. That, that basically tells you some some information it's not there well this place that we bought this dump truck from like they were actually a really legit place they painted everything before we bought it so that's oh. how you know everything's good yeah oh. like fresh yeah. cut like did you every, ask for that or no that? it was oh, before i even yeah. saw the the truck yeah everything was painted so i was like well that's nice of them it is yeah, yeah. it doesn't hide anything yeah i mean they had even painted over some dirt on <laughs> yeah. on the truck that's like, nice air filter yeah. paint yeah painted yeah. like free of charge you see someone paints over everything fresh coat of paint when you show up <laughs> They're covering up stuff. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> They're not being nice. <laughs> so hopefully um, we can upgrade it a little bit too. Ooh, um, I like the sound of that. Yeah, so um, it's gonna have to have, it's got one turbo now. We can't actually, <laughs> actually fix it, Matt, without at least two I turbos. I actually feel like you guys break everything I have and be like, well, I guess now we can upgrade it. I think it needs two stacks instead of one. Yeah, yes. the driver needs to hear it. Yeah. I'm just gonna take over real quick. If y'all if y'all agree with that, just go ahead and like and subscribe. Oh, I'm out of batteries. Oh back. man. They were out here yesterday and hooked the scanner up. Nothing was scanning. Nothing. It was it was it was showing there was no computer hooked up. Uh, so they checked today that we have power and ground at the computer, which it does, yeah. and that makes us think that our computer is just fried. Yeah. It goes beep. That's yeah. the power, and it goes boop. And that's the ground. So, we're gonna 12 valve swap it. Oh, um, I like it. Cuda, <laughs> the Cuda motor. Half the power. Yeah, yeah. Lots of smoke. <laughs> Lots of smoke. For now, Optimus is down, and uh, we gotta get a new computer. We're just gonna order a new computer. Maybe a tuned one a little bit, and um, make black smoke go. Lots. Dual stacks. We got at least straight pipe it. I mean, the thing, you don't drive it on the road, right? Nope. Bro. We got to at least here, put bro. one turbo per cylinder. I like that. Yeah. Hey. That'd be awesome. Yeah, this That's is going to be of... cheap. Yeah. I like cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Busted fuse somewhere. There, it has a up wire. I'm so glad.
why we didn't sell you a computer. Ah, yes. Right. Yeah, buddy. All right. We found out what the problem was. There's a weird little switch back here. I didn't kill it. I killed it. There's a weird switch back there that is some kind of safety. That thing got tripped when we were welding back there. Someone either bumped it or just the welding zapped it. So we just bypassed the switch. Now Optimus is back. Runs just fine. That's all it was. Simple. We thought we were going to have to buy a whole new computer. Okay. You guys have kind of been wondering for a bit, and for some reason on the last video, tons of comments asking, just straight up asking. We miss Mayor's laugh, head shaking at your ideas and eye rolls. Mayor and Matt are history. I've been thinking that. Any sources have Matt and Mayor split up? Her being so excluded doesn't bode well. Miss her. I've been noticing the exact same thing. Hashtag, where's Mayor? He switched the rings on his hands a while ago. He's been wearing his wedding ring on his right and his Aggie on his left for a long time. I was always curious why he did that. Where is Mare? Any reason why we don't see the family as much anymore? I heard they split up. Yeah, Mare took the house. Matt is living at Demo Ranch HQ now. Any truth to this? What? Is that true? She was in the range day video, albeit briefly. You know an ex-wife that would show up to that? One that still owns 50%. So I guess I can't really hide it anymore. Uh, a lot of, a lot of questions asking. Um, where's Mare? How's Mare? How are Mare and the kids? We haven't seen them much anymore. So I, I, I don't know, I guess I just should probably come clean and tell y'all. They're fine! Everything's fine! Uh, they're just not in the videos as much anymore. Uh, yeah, Mare and I are still married. I do in fact wear my <laughs> wedding ring on the wrong hand and my Aggie ring on the wrong hand. Um, I don't think I've ever addressed this, but I've done it for probably five years they fit better that way my right ring finger is a little bit bigger around the knuckle and my wedding ring is a little bit bigger and so my aggie ring just does not fit very good on my right knuckle i thought about just getting them both resized the wedding ring a little bit smaller and the aggie ring a little bit bigger and then i was like you know it's a lot cheaper just wearing them on the other hand and so that's what i did years ago and i have seen comments about it forever just never want to tell y'all because I always thought it was funny. I'm mysterious. So you have seen a lot less of Mare and the kids. That was a good observation. Um, mostly the kids have been very absent from my videos. Uh, that does not mean they're very absent from my life. That means my kids are just bigger now. I don't really want them in the videos as much anymore. Uh, we started this channel a long time ago. My kids were all little and we did more family vlog style content which we just don't do anymore and the main reason for that is I don't want to do family vlog style content because my oldest is a girl and she is 13 and she's beautiful and I don't want you guys to see her anymore. <laughs> right now when I go to a theme park I get recognized a lot. We have a lot of followers and I get recognized and I take pictures and it's awesome. I don't want that to happen with my teenage daughters. I don't want you guys to come up to them when they are with their friends, when they're not with me, um, or even when they're with me. I don't want you guys to talk to my daughters. I'm just gonna be real. Uh, or my son, you know, it's just, they're kids. I want them to be kids. I want them to be normal. I don't want my kids to be famous. God, it's so pretty down here. Holy cow, beauty. I want my kids to just be kids and not have to worry that someone recognizes them and someone might follow them or someone's gonna just come up and talk to them even if it's harmless it's still even me sometimes I have my guard up when it's some stranger that I don't know that knows me and I'm not sure what their intentions are usually their intentions are hey can I just take a picture with you but in the back of your mind you're always like why is this person approaching me and I don't want my kids to have to think about that ever and so really it was abandoned mansion series where we kind of totally broke away from family vlog style videos my kids were still in the videos because my oldest was only 10 when we started that but we didn't like make any videos about my kids god it's so pretty and the water's flowing and you'll notice now my kids are not in my videos that is for a reason it is not because meredith and i are splitting up or have split up or are taking a break uh, yeah, I'm still living in my house. Mayor lets me stay. It's awesome. And, uh, 
everything's good. And I know for a fact that the parents who watch my video will completely understand that. Um, their safety is more important than any YouTube video success. What is that? That's scary. I'm still not sure that that's not a ghost. The real bummer here is, that's a towel hung up in a tree. The real bummer here is that people are going to see The real bummer is that a lot of people are going to see this title uh, and never click the video and they're just going to assume that we are split up. It's just going to make for a lot of annoying encounters in the future. Look how big around this tree is, but it stops right there. It's like it broke off during a flood and then it kept growing out of that little spot. That is, you guys can't really tell, that's about nine feet across right there. Jeez, just going for a walk here because this used to be campsites down here. You can see they have these little bitty short fence posts about maybe two and a half feet tall. There's no fencing in between them anymore, but they used to have like a low fence here and this was campsites all along here. So the river is here and then there's this nice flat spot right here before it rises up to the fields up there but a really cool little area that would be really cool for primitive camping. Um, and you could make, easily make some little stairs that go down here to the water so people could play in the river. So I'm just investigating because this is part of the property that I've never showed you guys. Um, I haven't really investigated. I've walked it a couple times, but I haven't like looked at it really carefully. But man, obviously someone else found this more recently. Holy cow, they killed freaking 24 pack or something. Bud Lights, Michelob Ultras. Someone had a good little party down here. For all the people speculating as to what happened to my wife and kids, uh, I'm not even mad about it. I get it. I mean, like we had a channel where I like really let you guys in to our home life. Um, and then we sort of pulled back from that over the last several years and never really said anything about it. I kind of didn't think people would notice. Uh, you noticed, which, I appreciate you guys being there and you know caring how things are going but yeah it was, it was really just a family safety and wellness decision mostly children safety and wellness decision i mean putting your wife on the internet sucks too we had some just weird stuff happen with that which you know we knew signing up for it but it still is not fun some of the stuff that comes with that i mean I can take it. I've had my fair share of mean comments, but yeah, to see them about your wife, not fun. So obviously we have a overwhelmingly supportive audience. Here's a little bit of a fence left right here. You kind of see they had this little bitty short fence, but I mean like how cool to be to have a little campsites up in here and clean up all the trash that people have left over the years. But overwhelmingly a very supportive audience, of course. Um, you know, we have millions of subscribers and millions of views, and we couldn't do it if we had an overwhelmingly negative audience. We probably wouldn't get those views either if it was mostly negative comments. People obviously um, like what we do and want to be nice to us for the most part, which has been awesome. But for, you know, every thousand nice people, there's gonna be someone mean. And yeah, they get in your comments. It is what it is, but I don't want that happening to my kids, ever. And so my kids are gonna be very not famous. That's the plan. So trashy up in here. But dude, camping up under these ledges. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. So in the future, you will see a lot of me. Congratulations. You'll see Mayor a little bit. You may see my younger kids, um, very little and with decreasing frequency. Thanks to those who have been here for a long time and adapted through the seasons of, of my life. Uh, <laughs> we started over a decade ago and I was different. My life was different. My family was different, but we've, uh, grown and adapted and changed through it all i think for the better um but we're just doing what we like to do we're trying to have fun trying to be the best parents that we can be and uh do fun stuff along the way and if you want to do fun stuff with us mark april 8th on your calendars 
because we're gonna have people out here, people that are not social media people, actual guests, we're gonna finally open and we're aiming for April 8th because that is a total eclipse that is coming directly over my resort. We are in the path of totality. So it is a total eclipse and that is gonna happen directly over us, which is insane. So it's April 8th, which made us go, dude, let's get some freaking RV spots ready. Let's get some primitive camping spots ready and let's pack this place for a few days for that event. And we can't, can't slow it down. Nature's not gonna wait. The moon is going to pass in front of the sun and completely block out the sun, which is why it is a total eclipse on April 8th, 2024. We had a little partial eclipse in October, which was cool. I'd never seen one before. It was pretty neat, but there is a total one happening where it will totally block off the sun and it will go dark at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. People are gonna be traveling from all over the place, all over the world, definitely all over the US, to come to Texas and get in a place like this resort. So we're just lucky that it's gonna happen here. I've never seen one in my entire life, so I'm freaking stoked about it. I'm a sunset sunrise kind of guy. I like seeing that stuff, and I've never seen a total eclipse. So, mark it on your calendars, we are not open to booking yet because we have no facilities set up at all. We're not ready. We don't know how many people we can take. We gotta figure all that stuff out in the next like four and a half months. But April 8th, mark it down if you have any interest in coming out and being one of the first actual, real, paying guests that are gonna come stay on this resort. And really, we have um, zero things to offer you. Uh, the building will still be burned down. The room's not gonna be ready at all. But we've got this field and a river and a freaking total eclipse. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for asking how my life's going. It's going great. And uh, we're having a lot of fun out here renovating this abandoned resort. Thanks for watching. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully still married. <laughs>